I want to share a very simple but very powerful hair loss treatment stack. Now, this isn't medical advice, but this treatment stack should work very well for any man with nail pattern baldness. This will cover all your bases and hit all the mechanisms that improve hair growth. I'm going to make this as simple but effective as possible. Since regrowing your hair can take time, you need to be able to stick with this routine for the long term, which means simplicity wins. But we also want to get down to the root cause of hair loss and fight it there so your hair can get better with each passing year. All right. So first up, we do want to block DHT. If you're familiar with male pattern baldness, you'll know that DHT and inflammation in the scalp leads to fibrosis, which in turn causes hair follicle miniaturization. So reducing DHT is a vital part of the equation. And the easiest way to do this is with oral finasteride. If you're worried about side effects, try reducing the dose down to one quarter or even one eighth of a milligram per day. That's essentially cutting a normal one milligram pill into four and taking a quarter every other day. If you're sensitive to the side effects of finasteride, it might mean you're sensitive to the effects of DHT blockers, as in a much smaller dose can still stop hair loss. If you really can't use finasteride, consider a plant-based DHT blocker like salt palmetto, which probably won't work as well, but studies have shown that it can be fairly effective at halting hair loss. Following that, consider topical finasteride, which we've made a video on before and I'll go ahead and link that in the description. Okay guys, so once you've got the DHT aspect covered, you'll want to move on to the topicals. A topical is something that you apply to your scalp, the most well-known of which is minoxidil, which was the first FDA approved treatment for hair loss. Minoxidil works primarily as a vasodilator, which means it widens the blood vessels in the scalp, allowing more circulation to the hair follicles. If you're gonna be using a topical, I highly, highly recommend considering two additional points. Firstly, use a scalp brush before applying any topical. By brushing the scalp, you'll improve the absorption of the liquid into the dermis, and absorption is a big factor in the effectiveness of the topical. You just need to brush for a few minutes before you apply it. Secondly, if you're going to the effort of applying the topical each day, why not add other well-studied compounds to the topical formation to improve the hair growth outcomes. These additional compounds can include caffeine. Caffeine's been independently studied to improve hair growth with zero side effects when applied topically. Niacin, however, can improve circulation on the dermis. Adenosine has been studied for hair growth and provides molecular energy needed for hair production. Zinc has been well studied to help block DHT and is a useful mineral for hair growth support. Azelaic acid, this compound can also help block DHT topically without side effects. By choosing a topical that contains minoxidil and these additional ingredients in the formulation, you're simply saving time and improving the outcome with zero downside. Check out Maxoxidil on our website if you wanna learn more about this formulation. Maxoxidil, it's like minoxidil, but much more powerful in every way. It's like the maximum power version of minoxidil. The third and final part of our treatment stack is a treatment that aims to remodel the scalp tissue. The scalp tissue is incredibly important to the growth of the hair follicles. Considering that if you transplanted a hair from the back of the head to the front, that hair will start to miniaturize after five years or so if the patient doesn't take finasteride, whilst the hairs in the back of the head remain perfectly healthy and fine. We know from numerous studies that improving the health of the scalp tissues improves hair growth. Fibrosis is the slow process where fibrotic tissue builds up in the scalp, reducing circulation and growth space for the hair follicles. This is the real root cause of baldness. This fibrosis is caused by DHT plus scalp tension. So in order to stop and reverse the fibrosis, you need to reduce the inflammation and trigger wound healing on the scalp to remove the fibrosis. We can do all of this with scalp massages. The most time efficient way to do a scalp massage and remodel the scalp tissues is with a grow band. The grow band pushes and squeezes the scalp upwards, which causes the scalp tissues to remodel after repeated use. This three-pronged approach to blocking DHT, reactivating hair follicle growth with a powerful topical and scalp tissue remodeling is in my experience, by far the most effective treatment stack for combating hair loss. Yes, you can get results by choosing one mechanism alone, but you'll get far better results, especially in the long term, by stacking these treatments. Can you see how the mechanisms work together synergistically? If you did just the first two, your scalp would remain fibrotic and just get worse over time. This means hair growth would get harder over time. If you just remodeled the scalp tissue, you wouldn't really be reactivating hair growth and DHT would still play a role in causing fibrosis. Of course, you can add in additional treatments, such as microneedling, LLLT, PRP, and more. But these are less important, and in my experience, take up time and money for less results. Combine these three main mechanisms 
for the most time and cost-effective treatment stack. We have extensive videos on minoxidil, DHT blocking, fibrosis, and blood flow. So please check out the channel and the description for those videos. Guys, I hope this has been helpful. If you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Max Oxidil and the Grow Band are only available at hairguard.com, so visit the website today to find out more. The Grow Band has been gaining massive popularity over the past year or so because of its ease of use and because it gets to the real cause of hair loss. All right, guys, let me know if you've got any more questions, and until then, I'll see you all on the next video.